In recent years, it has become clear that financial crises require extraordinary measures from the state. But such measures are difficult if, for example, states are sued by investors before international arbitration boards. The possibility of dispute settlement is increasingly provided for investment protection agreements and shall also be integrated into the planned EU agreements with Canada and the USA. Such dispute settlements offer companies very strong protection for their investments. Any government actions that harm investors and reduce their profits or profit expectations can be disputed. The negotiations are largely conducted in secret. The settlements are usually decided by people who work for private law firms. It is not possible to appeal against a ruling. Due to rulings or fear of being brought to court, political policy is limited in its scope. Currently, the economic crisis in Greece is smoldering in Europe. This crisis erupted in 2010. The austerity programs prescribed by the EU worsened the situation and investors pushed for a repayment of all debts. But ultimately, Greece could not repay its debts under any circumstances. Therefore, a debt cut was implemented in 2012, in which investors gave up about half of their claims. In return, Greek government bonds were supplemented with a clause stating that the debt cut applied to all investors if, and only if, a large majority of investors agreed. In effect, this is what happened. Then one investor took legal action against this necessary measure before an arbitration court, even though this investor had bought the bonds when the crisis in Greece and the subsequent risk to its bonds were already well known. If the lawsuit is successful, a few investors would make profits at the expense of many people in Greece. And any future debt restructuring in the EU will also threaten to become the subject of dispute settlements. Another example of the disastrous effect of arbitration is the bank bailout in Cyprus. The country's largest bank had to be nationalised in 2013. Affluent clients were asked to pay, many of whom had previously enjoyed tax benefits in Cyprus. One investor has now taken legal action against the bank bailout, calling it expropriation, even though the bank was bankrupt and worthless at the time. Here as well, the following applies. If this action succeeds, it could be much harder for policies that request the wealthy to pay the costs of the crisis to be implemented. While the legal disputes against Greece and Cyprus are still ongoing, there are other states where they have already met success. Argentina, for example, was in a severe crisis in 2000. The government declared a state of emergency and took far-reaching measures to prevent any more damage to the population. The currency was devalued and government debts were no longer repaid. Investors brought actions against Argentina running into the billions and many won. Last year, Argentina agreed to pay a good deal of money retroactively, but currently the country once again faces economic problems. It is the right and duty of states to combat financial crisis by any means necessary in the interest of the population. Arbitration makes this goal subordinate to the profit interests of companies. We must fight against this.